Hi everybody, this is Crystal. So today I'm gonna to show you how to make this hat here. Now, it's it's not a hard hat. Um, it's actually pretty easy. It's made with the double crochet herringbone stitch. Um, you could probably would have been able to see it better on, on a solid colored yarn, but you can still see the zigzag effect of the herringbone. The herringbone is actually a really pretty stitch. And it's quite easy to do once you get the hang of it. So, you know, I consider this a pretty easy pattern. I think most people will be able to do it. Um, this should fit 21, 21 and a half inch head. Of course, you can always make it, you know, longer. Um, let me find my tape measure and I'll give you a uh, length on it. Sorry about my dog barking the whole video. It's about seven and a half inches long. You know, but you can make it longer if you want. Um, so, the yarn that I use is called, it's Universal Yarns, uh, Classic Shades Frenzy. Now, it is a 70 acrylic, 30 wool blend, and it is a medium weight number four, a roving style yarn. Now, you do not have to use this yarn. Any medium weight number four yarn will work. Um, there are 158 yards in the skein this is what i have left so you're probably going to need about 130 yards to finish this hat 135 i don't know that's just a guess um right around there to finish that hat in case you're interested the color i have is called uh stranded but remember any four weight will work just fine with this hat like i said i probably would have preferred a solid <clears throat> if i was to do it again but anyways this then I'm going to be using a size J, which is a six millimeter crochet hook. All right, first we're going to start off, as always, with a slip knot on our hook. And then we're going to start with a chain of three. Now we're going to slip stitch into the first stitch to form a ring. Now, if you prefer the magic circle, that's fine too. Okay, we're gonna chain one. Now what we're gonna be working is double crochet herringbone stitches. They're really not hard to do so this should be a relatively easy pattern. They're kind of like a double crochet. They're just made a bit different. So what we're going to do is we're going to yarn over and we're going to do a herringbone, a double crochet herringbone. We need to do 12 of them through the center of the ring. Well, let me show you how they're done. So you yarn over, you're going to go into the ring and you draw up a loop. Now, before you do anything else, Go through the first loop on your hook, like that, and then yarn over and go through the next loop on your hook, and then yarn over and go through the two that remain. See that? It's not that hard. I'm going to try it again. Okay, we're going to yarn over, go through the loop. Or through the ring and draw up a loop. Don't do anything. First thing you got to do is go through that first loop on your hook. Yarn over and go through the next loop and then yarn over and go through the two that remain. So that's the double crochet herringbone stitch. So I already have made two. I need a total of 12. So let's do it again. Yarn over, go in and then you drop a loop. Don't do anything. First things first. Go through that first loop just like that then we're going to yarn over and go through the next loop and yarn over and go through the remaining two loops like that so i'm going to continue doing the double crochet herringbone all the way around until i get 12. <clears throat> one more time i'm going to go in the loop or in the ring draw up a loop first thing go through that first loop and then I'm going to yarn over and go through the next loop. And then I'm going to yarn over and go through both loops. So once you get that down, the hat's going to be really easy from now on. 
see that so I'm gonna continue until I get 12 uh, herringbone stitches through the center of my ring all right I have made it around and I have 12 herringbone stitches now usually you can pull that center circle with or pull the tail from your center circle should close that right up okay so now we're going to end round one by slip stitching into our first herringbone stitch and there you go round one's finished and you have 12 stitches now the herringbone is um forms a zigzag pattern when it's worth worked back and forth now to create that same pattern in the round we have to turn our work so we are going to chain one and turn our work so we're going to work back in the same stitch right here that we just slip stitched into and we, we need to work two herringbone stitches in that spot so that same spot you just slip stitched into you work two herringbones <clears throat> it may seem a little difficult at first to get especially that first loop but once you once you get it down you move right along sorry slipped off my hook it happens okay so there's two into the first stitch now I'm going to work my way around working two herring bones into every stitch so I'm going to go to the next one there's one and I'm going to go in the same stitch and do another one there's two now we're going to move to the next stitch and we're going to work two herring bones into that stitch there's one and there's two so I'm going to work two herringbone stitches into every stitch all the way around for round two. And don't worry if you have trouble with this first stitch slipping off your hook. It happens. It happens to me all the time. I'm just gonna edit it out when it happens to me <laughs> so don't feel bad because it does it's just it's a hard loop to get it's like that so I'm going to continue around working two herring bones into every stitch until I get back to my starting point oh shoot I'll leave that one in there There we go all right I've made it to the end of round two you should have 24 stitches now and we're gonna go ahead and end by slip stitching into our first herringbone stitch here and then we're gonna have to chain one to start round three and turn our work so we're gonna be turning our work every other row that's just kind of what you have to do if you want to get the herringbone zigzag effect so round three so we're going to go right back into this very first stitch here and we're going to put one herringbone stitch this time so only one into the first stitch now the next stitch we will put two herringbones into the same stitch And then we will repeat that pattern for round three. So the next stitch will be one herringbone. And then the next stitch will get two of the herringbone stitches in the same stitch. So there's one. Okay. 
and two. One herringbone into the next stitch. And then two into the next one. And that's a pattern. Now I'm going to repeat for round three. One herringbone and then two herringbones. One herringbone and two herringbones. One and two, one and two, all the way around until you get back to your starting point. All right, I've come to the end of round three. You should have 36 stitches in your last stitch. Should have had two of the uh, herringbone stitches in it. So we're gonna end round three by slip stitching into the first herringbone stitch. We're gonna start round four by chaining one and then we gotta turn our work back around. So this time we're gonna put two herringbone stitches in a row and then the next stitch will get two herringbones into the same stitch. So I always like to, you would like to start right here in the very first stitch that we slip stitched into. Go ahead and put your first herringbone stitch in there. And then we're gonna put one herringbone into the next stitch. And then the next stitch will put two herringbone stitches into the same stitch. So this will be the repeat now for round four. So there's one in there. I'll go back into the same one and do another one. It's almost nature to want to gra <laughs> grab, or it's just like natural to want to grab over and yarn over, but can't do that. You gotta go do that first one like that. Again, we'll repeat it again. A one herringbone in the next two stitches. So there's one in that one. Go to the next stitch. One in that one. And then the next one we'll get two herringbones in the same stitch. So there's one. And two and we're going to repeat this pattern all the way around for round four one herringbone into the next two stitches so there's one in that one one in the next one and then two herringbones into the next so we're going to repeat this pattern all the way around of one herringbone one herringbone two herringbones one, one, two, one, one, two, all the way around till we get back to our starting point. So I'm coming to the end of round four. You should have ended in two herringbone stitches um, and you should have a total of 48 stitches. If it's looking a little roughly, that's fine. It'll be, it'll be okay. That could just be my yarn too because it's... Um, so now we're going to go ahead and end by slip stitching into our first herringbone. Now we're going to increase one more time. So for round five, we're going to chain one and turn our work. Start by putting one herringbone into that very first stitch there. And then we're going to put one herringbone into the next two. So counting that first one, we'll have three herringbone stitches in a row. And then the next stitch will put two herringbones into the same stitch. Like that. One more there. So that will be the repeat now for round five. One herringbone into each of the next three stitches. There's one. One in the next makes two. One in the next is three in a row. 
and then two into the next stitch. So that's the repeat now for round five. One herringbone into the next three, and then two herringbones into the next. So it's one, 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 two, one, 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 two, all the way around until you get back to your starting point. All right, I have finished round five. Two herringbones into the last stitch, 60 stitches total. And go ahead and end by slip stitching into your first herringbone. So we're not going to be doing any more increasing. So, so round six is the repeat round for the rest of the hat. So round six, chain one. Remember, we always have to turn our work back and forth at, after every row. And now it's one herringbone, double crochet into every stitch all the way around. So you go into the first one. First one's always the hardest. I don't know why. And work around putting one herringbone or double crochet herringbone into every stitch all the way around until you get back to your starting point. When you make it back to your starting point, you'll have 60 stitches. You're always going to have 60 stitches now. 60 is a magic number. Um, you just slip stitch into your first double crochet herringbone when you get back around. Chain one, turn, and repeat. So it's just rows of one double crochet herringbone stitch in each stitch. Now I don't know how many rows of this I'm going to do, but I'm going to continue and I'll let you know here in just one second how many total rows I do. Remember, one in every stitch from now on. We're not increasing anymore. We're done with that. So it's just one in every stitch till you make it back to your starting point. 60 stitches, slip stitch into your first one, chain one and turn your work, and start again. Remember, you always have to turn your work. So I'll let you know here in just a second how many total rows I do. All right, I have done a total of 15 rounds. You can always do more, remember that, if you like. Now I'm not going to turn my work. I'm going to do one more round and it's just going to be a finishing round of single crochet. So round 16 will just be one single crochet in every stitch. So I'm not going to turn. I'm just going to chain one, go back into that same stitch and single crochet. And I'm going to work one single crochet in every stitch until I get back around to my starting point. Now remember, you can always do more rounds and make it a slouchy, whatever you, whatever you like. But I'm going to finish this uh, one round of single crochet, and I should have 60 stitches still when I get back to my starting point. All right, I have made it back to the beginning after round 16. I'm gonna go ahead and slip stitch into my first single crochet, 60 stitches. I'm gonna tie off and I'm gonna end right now. So my hat's finished after I hide that tail. That's it, that's all there is to it. Um, I hope you enjoyed my tutorial. And now with the yarn that I used, I guess the herringbone is a bit difficult to see. You can see it a little bit, the zigzag of it. Uh, but my yarn is kind of uh, semi-busy, so it does t distract away from the stitch. Perhaps a solid would have been a better choice for that. But I, I still like the yarn. I think it turned out pretty good. You can still you can still see it. But I hope you enjoy my tutorial. Please don't forget to, as always, to like this video if you, if, if you did. And um, don't forget to subscribe. Um, if you make this or anything else, I really, really like to see a picture of it. You can always... Uh, Follow me on Instagram or come and join my Facebook page. I'll put links to both of those down in the description box. Um, I always enjoy seeing what everybody makes. And 
if you look over there on the right hand side of the screen I'm gonna put a playlist of all my tutorials I have hundreds and hundreds beyond hundreds of tutorials of pretty much anything and everything that you could ever want to make I probably have it and I probably have multiples of it so go ahead and check that out when you get time and um, so that's it uh, thanks everybody for watching have a good day